Good morning, everybody, and welcome to our deep dive weekend project with me. Yes, that is correct. A deep dive video weekend project. We are going to build this project from scratch and you can essentially build this project with me. So let's get started about the weekend project. So I'm going to share my screen. So we want to basically build this custom CDC pipeline, which means uh, we have our SQL Server database and there are heavy number of tr heavy transactions that are happening. And what you want to do is basically you want to offload the analytical workload from the that, that, that database and you want to basically bring it into data lake, transaction data lake and power your analytical workloads. So what we are going to do is basically we will be setting up AW, we'll first of all spin up a SQL uh, server database on cloud. Then we are going to set up AWS DMS. Uh, we're going to capture these events. We can set up a replication instance, a source, a target, bring everything to raw zone. From raw zone, we'll have a glue job, which is a scheduled job, which is gonna read the data incrementally, take the data from the raw zone, build a transaction data lake. Now, once you have a transaction data lake, you can run an ad hoc query. Uh, you can basically run analytical workloads through Redshift Spectrum. You can also basically query the data using Spark SQL as well. So we are gonna build a complete pipeline. So I hope you're excited and I hope uh, you wanna try this out with me. So I, I definitely encourage you guys to try this out with me. All right, enough of talk, talking. Let's get straight into action, Sawmill. All right, so this is what we're gonna build. There are two options. We can either go for a streaming pipeline or we can go for a batch-oriented pipeline. I will prefer a batch-oriented pipeline for the video, but I can also make a video on streaming pipeline. So the focus is basically to spin up a SQL server, DMS, a S3 glue, and then basically a transactional data lake where we can run ad hoc query, okay? So hopefully uh, the project makes sense, right? So hopefully you guys know what we are about to build, okay? So the first step is, uh, guys, head over to your AWS account, and then what we gotta do is head over to the RDS. And again, I also basically have snippets for you. So basically, uh, during this entire project, uh, I'll have code snippets that you guys can use, uh, which which will basically help you, you know, to pre-populate the database with some fake data, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So yeah, so let, let me let me let me get started. All right, so. Again, first step, very, very basic. We're gonna, we, we need a database, right? So uh, I come to the RDS, we're gonna click on create database, um, click on SQL Server, uh, that, that's the one that I'm looking for. Uh, yeah, standard SQL Server, uh, I'll zoom in as much as I can. Okay, and then um, over here, uh, let me see which one I did in the past while uh, doing that. So I'm gonna use SQL Server Standard Edition so we'll be using SQL Server Standard Edition. Uh, we'll leave this to default. We need a dev cluster, not a prod. And the, the, the database name we're gonna put as dev cluster. So put this with me, okay? Dev cluster. The username will be admin and the password will be at admin12345, okay? Hopefully it makes sense, right? Please follow the steps with me, okay? If you wanna learn. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, that's that. Now, over here, uh, I'll use the <laughs> the minimum, the cheapest one, so I can save money. So I'm gonna use a DB M5 large with two vCPUs, eight GB RAM. Uh, I'll leave everything else to default. Uh, yeah, that's also fine. Multi AC, no, I don't. I'm, I don't need a multi AC cluster, right? Uh, let me see here. It's a little tricky with the VPC usually. I, so I am gonna select, shall I create a new one? Eh, it's fine, I mean I can. Yeah, you know what, um, nah, I'm just gonna use a default, it's fine. <laughs> All right, then over here, for the demo purposes, I'm gonna say public access to yes, right? Uh, because I wanna connect uh, uh, to the database, right? So I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna be uh, doing that. And let me just double check my VPC because I know in the past I always had problems with the VPC. So I think it was 6B, right? So let me see which one do I have, my default one. Uh, I believe it's this one, but we can actually, uh, uh, we can always create a new uh, VPC. You know what? We, we're gonna create a new VPC. All right, we're gonna create a new VPC. So create a new VPC. Um, that's fine, that's fine. And then uh, over here, we'll say create a new, and then here let's type a name, SQL Server CDC demo all right availability zone has no preference 
Additional configuration database port should be 1443. Uh, turn off the performance inside, we don't need it. Again, this is uh, the cost that you're looking at on a monthly basis. So probably remember, we're gonna turn it off right after like an hour or two. So probably you're looking at five to $10, not more than that. So that's that. Then I'm gonna click on the button that says create database. Now this will take about 10 to 15 minutes. So go grab a cup of coffee. I already have my cup of coffee. So, you know, just grab a coffee and uh, let's wait for this to complete. And I'm basically gonna resume the video. So meanwhile, enjoying the coffee.